It's another Tuesday, which means it's time for another weekly modes update here in Hockey Ultimate Team. Now, unfortunately, I am a little bit late on this one, but we'll take a look at everything. I haven't actually even logged into Hockey Ultimate Team yet. I'm still sitting on the main menu, so let's take a look and see what is new together. Who's going to be the free card that you can earn this week, and will it be worth it? Well, first off, I guess we have our free pack, but obviously not going to get anything in our free pack. A couple of 71s. And the new weekly modes update is for an 84 and 82 overall Brandon Carlo of the Boston Bruins. That could be really good, right? We've gotten a lot of forwards already this year, but not really a lot of defense. So this could be a good card. I mean, he's good defensively, right? He's six foot five right-handed defenseman. This is the 84 overall version. Defensive defenseman synergy. He has 84 endurance with that on. His body checking goes up to 91. And the stick checking's at 93. He's not the fastest skater, but at six foot five, I feel like a lot of people will be pretty happy with him. Hands suck, shots not great. This is an all right card, I guess. If you're a Bruins fan, you can pair him with Chara. Now that'll be interesting. He also has Silver Shutdown. The 84 version does anyways. 217 pounds, right-handed defenseman. I feel like this is an all right card. Maybe not like outstanding or anything, but if you need help on defense, this could help you out. As for the 82 overall version, I mean, it's a good card to trade in for sets. I don't know anyone who's actually using the 82s, and I don't know why EA just doesn't make it a different player. You know what I mean? Two players, it could be the same team. I don't care. But like, why are we getting two of the same player? All right, well, we have the Boston Bruin objectives to get that 84 overall Brandon Carlo. First of all, you need to complete a set, and doing that set will give you a random base Boston Bruins player, where using this Boston Bruins player, you can do the other objectives. You need three saucer passes for 1,000 coins, take nine snapshots for 2,000 coins, 12 shoulder checks for an XP token. This is definitely worth doing, getting the XP token. Make 55 passes for a random 77, take 50 shots for a random 77, get 25 assists for a random 79, and score 20 goals for a random 79. And doing all of these objectives right here will unlock the 84 overall Brandon Carlo. Quick side note, if you want the Brandon Carlo at 84 overall and you need Boston Bruins players, do the moments to get the 82 overall and use him to do the objectives and then it's like upgrading the card. Kinda. To get the 82 overall Brendan Carlo, it's very simple, right? They got rid of like all the win the game objectives and stuff like that. So the moments are a lot easier. The first one here, get four body checks with any player and you'll get a weekly moment pack. Take three perfect one-timer shots for a weekly moment pack. Score two goals with any player for a weekly moment pack. Perform five deeks with any player for a weekly moment pack. And finally, on All-Star, you need to win the game against the Boston Bruins. You'll get that 82 overall Brendan Carlo. If you score three goals with any player or get three shoulder checks with any player, you'll also get a thousand coins apiece but it is on All-Star. It's a full game, two minute periods. Super easy to get these done. Worth doing, in my opinion, for the 82, the coins, the packs. You never know what you're going to get. There's also a variety of new Game Breaker moments where you can get Game Breaker reward packs. You also get a thousand coins and you can get a Game Breaker collectible. That's going to be the same for all of these. So if you want to get these done, get some Game Breaker collectibles, some packs, and some coins. There are new Game Breaker cards, including that 86 Fetch, 86 Sagan, 85 Hellebuck, 85 Monahan. We have 84 Connor McMichael, 84 March or so. The 83s are Talbot and Savard, 82s are Vlasic and Schneider, and the 81s are Grizzlick and Gaudette. The Game Breaker sets are also back, where if you trade in six of the Game Breaker collectibles, you get a guaranteed 81 or better tradable Game Breaker player. In the second set, you can trade in six of the Game Breaker collectibles for a guaranteed 83 overall Game Breaker player untradable. And the last one here is six of the Game Breaker collectibles for a guaranteed 85 overall Game Breaker player. This player is bound to your account and it is 85, it cannot be 86. For me personally, I always do the one that's tradable because that means I get guaranteed coins back, especially if I don't plan on using any of the players. There's also a new Game Breaker Objectives, where if you complete three games with one or more Game Breaker items, you'll get a thousand coins. Perform nine Ds with the Game Breakers for a random 78. Take 16 perfect one-timer shots with the Game Breakers for a random 78. Score 20 goals with the Game Breakers for a Game Breakers collectible, and complete 25 games for the Hut Game Breakers collectible. If you complete all of these, you'll get the 81 overall Liam Greentree. Where's the Spitfire favorite? Let's go. Just want to point out, it is important to note, you need to complete 25 games, but the more of the Game Breakers you have in your lineup, the faster you'll get it done. If you have four of them in your lineup, it would only take you seven games as opposed to 25. We also have new transactions cards today, including 86 Shea Theodore and 85 Jake Neighbors. There's that 81 overall Oli Mata, who is no longer a Detroit Red Wing. And to finish it off, we also have some new off the charts players, 85 Bennington, 85 Doug Gilmore. There's an Arbor Jack guy up there at the top. That could be pretty cool. And hey, don't forget to head into the store. Scroll all the way to the end, all the way up here. What the hell are all these packs? All right, we got to look through those. We have our off the charts daily pack, a guaranteed 70 or better. It's absolutely free, and this is the time where I get something good. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. 71, Michael Rapick. For new packs, we have the NHL Player's Choice Pack. Select a total of eight current NHL or NHL alumni over four rounds. It costs 75,000 coins. 53% chance to add an 80 or better. We have the Player Choice Pack. Contains a choice of one of two 77 overall current NHL players 
and a choice of one of two, 80 or better. Uh, okay, that's interesting, but it costs 151,650 coins. Where the hell are they getting that number? We have the Jumbo Elite Pack, which is back for 101,250 coins, 12 items, 10 guaranteed players, a 53% chance at an 80 or better. And then the five guaranteed 77 or better overall NHL player pack, five guaranteed 77 or better, only a 56% chance at an 80 or better. These are some real interesting packs. Personally, I don't really know if any of them are really worth it. Probably not going to buy them. Here's a quick look at the Liam Green Tree that you can get right now by doing the Game Breaker Objectives. He doesn't have really great anything. Shot power is really good, so there's that. Probably a card you'll just end up trading in, if I'm being honest. Maybe one day they'll release a set where you can trade in a bunch of Game Breaker cards, but for now, I don't know anyone that's going to use them. Checking the objectives, it does say he's untradeable and not bound, so hey, maybe we could use him in the future. Anyways, y'all, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Sorry I'm a little bit late on this one. I was at work and, yeah, just getting home from work, trying to hop on as fast as I could after I showered. Go get that Brandon Carlo. He looks like he could be a pretty decent card, especially if you're somebody who likes using big players. For now, I'm out of here, but I'll see you tomorrow right here on the channel with another video. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.